Continuing with the theme of doing video game characters, I figured today I would try to show you how to draw some Angry Birds. Uh, today we have Red and Chuck, Bomb, Matilda, and Blue. And uh, these will be the colors that you're going to want to use for each of these characters here. Red, yellow, black, orange, and you can also use your black and make a gray color here as well. So. I'm going to walk through each one of these for you. Use whatever you've got in order to do your coloring with it. Crayons, markers, watercolor paint, color pencils, whatever you have. So, let's begin. I'm going to be starting off with Red, and he's going to be kind of over in this top right hand corner. Red is circular, and that's one of the things about the Angry Birds is that most of the characters are basic shapes, either circles or ovals or uh, triangle shapes. So this circle is the basic outline for Red's body. Next, I'll add three curved lines along the top for the feathers on top of his head. Three triangle shapes over here on the left for the tail feathers. And now I'm going to draw the beak. The beak is going to start off with a triangle, like that, and then a little triangle here, and then I'm going to bring a curved line down and up to the top of the top beak. For the eyebrows, I start off with a V shape, I go up from the V shape and then do the V shape again connecting kind of his unibrow that he's got going here. Curved lines for the eyes, curved lines underneath, and a line down the middle. And then I can do a circle inside of each eye, a little circle inside, and a curved line for the belly. I'm gonna go ahead and trace him so that way you can see him a little bit easier. fast for you. So whenever you need to stop the video and get caught up, that is fine. Alright, so red is now complete and ready for color. Next I'm going to show you how to draw Chuck. We'll draw Chuck right over here. Chuck's going to start off as a triangle shape, but when you do the corners of the triangles, make them rounded instead of pointed. The feathers on top of Chuck's head are going to be like a big zigzag line here. Same thing for the tail feathers. I'm going to go ahead and draw his beak next, and that's going to be a bit of a triangle shape. beak and his belly. His eyebrows are different. We're going to do two triangles, sorry, two rectangles like that. Circles underneath both and circles inside. Now Chuck is ready to trace.
chuck is ready for color. Next we're going to draw Bomb, and he's going to start off a lot like how red is. With red, we started off with a circle, we're going to do the same thing with Bomb, starting off with a circular shape. Now Bomb, instead of having a feather on top of his head, he's got a fuse. So that's going to be a rectangle shape that's wider at the end and narrow at the beginning. No tail feathers for Bob. His eyebrows are going to go off kind of the edge of that shape. So his eyes are set kind of far apart. I'm going to go ahead and draw the beak before I go back in and do the eyes. For Bob, that top beak is really small and the bottom beak is a lot bigger. Curve line for the belly. And then we do one, two circles like that. One, two circles. And then we can draw little circles on the inside. Now I'm going to go ahead and trace Bomb is ready for color. Next we'll draw Matilda. Now Matilda is a little different than what we've done so far. We've done circle, we've done triangle. Matilda is a egg shape. Uh, it's more or less going to be an oval that's narrower at the top and wider at the bottom. Something kind of like that. The feathers on top of the head, we've got one, Two, three rectangles like that. Tail feathers. One, two, three rectangles like that. Matilda's got a large beak, so we're going to start off with a big triangle like that. And it's going to come around. Her eyes are kind of set far apart, like with Bob. Eyebrows are also rectangles. And for the eyes, you do two curved lines, kind of like you're doing a parenthesis, and then a curved line underneath. And then a couple of light circles. These will be kind of a yellowish color when you do the color for that. And then a curved line for the belly. Now Matilda is ready for tracing. Matilda's ready for color. Last we've got blue. Now in the game when you use blue, when you tap him he becomes three. Uh, we're just going to draw the one. If you want to draw all three, you can do that. You would just draw all three the same way. Blue is much smaller than the other birds, so we start off with a little circle two curve lines on top, kind of like how we did over here for red, but just two instead of three. And 
two tail feathers instead of three. And the top of the beak is a long rectangle. It's going to go past the side of the body. The bottom beak is another rectangle. For the eyes, we do two curved lines like this. Bring them together to make two half circles. Another curved line down to the beak. Circles inside for the inside of the eyes. No eyebrows on this one, no belly on this one. This is now ready to trace. And there we go. So these are all now ready for color. So let's talk a bit about color. When you decide to color these, uh, again, you can use whatever you want to use here. You can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use color pencils, you can use uh, watercolor paint, whatever you have at home. These characters have these colors. So let's take a bit of a closer look here. As we look at red, You'll notice I did yellow for the beak, but I also threw in a little bit of orange here. For the body, I used red. And to make the darker red, I just pressed harder with my color pencils. As we look over here at Chuck, the body is yellow. The beak is gonna be more of a, a yellow-orange. And I just used a darker color of yellow to make the shadows black for the feathers on the tail and the top of the head, and an orange color for the eyebrows. As we look at Bomb, again, the beak's done the same way on all of these, actually. Same color I used for the eyebrows on Chuck, I used over here on Bomb. Yellow for the tip of the fuse, and then black for the body. The bit around the eyes and the belly are gray. I just used the same color here. I just pressed lighter to get a gray color. If you've got a gray color, use that instead. If you don't have a gray color, just press softly with your color pencil or your crayon. Over here for Matilda, she's probably the easiest one to color. A little bit of yellow underneath uh, on the cheeks. A little bit of uh, yellow and orange for the beak. A little bit of gray here for the belly and then black for the eyebrows top tail feathers and uh, the feathers on top of the head and last over here at blue beaks done the same way the same color that I used for Bob's eyebrows and for Chuck's eyebrows I used for underneath the eyes here and then I just used a blue color for the body black for the tail feathers and to make the shadow I just pressed harder I hope you enjoyed this video uh, please give it a like and uh, we will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.